Whitby Island. So did you, I'm assuming you had a lot of artwork, but did you go out then and buy other yeah, all existing, existing artwork that you brought here? This is all stuff that we had. So. This comes, this is Kenya, and I bought this in Nairobi. Um, this is Kenya, and I bought this in Nairobi. So this is all stuff that we had. Yeah. This is all stuff that we had. So this comes, this is Kenya, and I bought this in Nairobi. And I went to visit Georgiana. This, a friend of mine is the artist for this piece, and she, she was the dancer. Mm -hmm. And then she could no longer dance because of injuries. So this was her farewell to dance piece. First met Elaine at a party at my house in Kakamega where I lived in Kenya, above the equator. And she came with Muffy, who had been in my group, and she and Muffy lived in Kisi together. So they came across on taxis through Kisumu. And I remember meeting her, I went out of my house and she was standing on the lawn and she had this brown curly hair. And she, <laughs> I think she had like on a white blouse or something like that. And I said, who are you? And she's like, my name is Elaine and I'm in from Kisi. Like she lived there, which uh. she did. <laughs> 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 and 
And that was it. That was my favorite monkey story. So we were in language school in Mombasa. And in the language school, you do, you get up early and you do your first class at 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Then you get a little tea break. And then you do from like nine to 11. And then you take the afternoon off because it's too hot. And then you from four to six, you do another class. So six hours a day, it's Swahili, no English. No, you cannot speak English in class. So the teachers have all these ways of, of teaching you how to say the word without using any English. So the teachers will come to the, to the classroom and they knock on the blackboard, because I have a blackboard to teach mm -hmm. with, knock on the blackboard and they say, Hodi. And Hodi is like, anybody home? And then the students will say, Karibu, which means welcome. So we go through a month of every day, three times a day, they're like, Hodi, Karibu. Everybody knows what it means. Mm -hmm. So we're at the end of it and we're all teasing Muffy because her Swahili like really sucked and she couldn't remember anything. And she's like, well, at least I know the name for Blackboard. And I'm like, Blackboard? What is the name for Blackboard? I don't even know the name for Blackboard. And I said, Muffy, what is the name for Blackboard? She said, Hody! Like, oh. Can I come in? Is there anybody home? Such a kind and caring person who loved to laugh. And I can hear her laugh. I can hear her laugh in you, actually. Going to the ballet, and she would take me to things I would never think of going to see, or going to look at art, or going out for Indian food, or, you yeah. know, she just opened my world yeah. in a way that I probably wouldn't have experienced otherwise. And I remember seeing her in her studio um, in San Francisco and just thinking how incredibly talented she is to be able to learn a new skill, like what she did was right. difficult to do. And I don't think people looking at the finished product would realize all it took to get there, how hard that was technically right. to do yeah. that work and that she mastered that was really quite amazing. So I was proud to have her as my friend. Yeah. Well, yeah. what did you call her? My activity partner. Activity partner. Yeah, that's all. Okay, good. yeah, the best all kind, right. yeah, the best kind. Yes, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. She was. Aww.